Alright, so watch the whole video if you want to learn how to make these beautiful thumbnails like this and you can also learn how to make simple thumbnails like this too. Yo, what is going on, little gangsters? That's right. I'm going to be showing you how I make my thumbnails, right? So these thumbnails, like this thumbnail right here, this thumbnail right here, this thumbnail right here. You get the point. And this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. All right, it's free, by the okay, way. You don't have to use the Photoshop thing. So I'll go ahead and show you that. But leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And then I can show you. So I'll wait here. Alrighty, J Paulers. You wanna go ahead and just take a picture of yourself if you wanna use yourself in a thumbnail, right? So to do that, you wanna make sure you have a green no. screen, right? If you don't have a green screen, make sure you have a solid color. Okay, so okay. white, blue. Yeah, so next step is the computer stuff. So see you there. Alright, so there's two types of thumbnails, alright? So there's this thumbnail and there's this thumbnail, alright? So it depends which one you're trying to make, alright? But anyways, you want to visit down the description down below and leave a link that takes you to this website right here. You want to go ahead and just create a new image. You want to make this width to 1280. You want to make the height to 720. Click OK. And then you want to find a background, alright? So you can go ahead and just take a picture of the main focus of the video but anyways you want to go and just download the image you want to make sure it's 1280 by 720 so you want to click layer and then open image as layer and then you want to find that picture you took or you downloaded it and you want to click it you want to go ahead and find the image that you took of yourself i'm going to be using this image it's really gigantic like i said just click free transform and move this to like as small as you can but you want to make sure it's still on the page all right so this is perfect size for me you want to go ahead and just click out the box Click yes, click the wand, click the green, hit the backspace of your keyboard, get more of that green, hit the backspace, get more of that green, hit the backspace, get more of that green, hit the backspace. You guys get the point. To get rid of the remaining, just go to the little eraser tool and make this to 200 and so it can clear out really fast. There you go. And let's see right here. So I can't really erase there because the brush is too big. To shrink the brush, just go over here and go like to 30. That's a good size. And just go between these little cracks of the green. And to make yourself bigger, just click edit, free transform, and make yourself bigger. Bam, click out the box. And to add the text, just click type tool and do this, add whatever. Choose your color of preference. I'm using yellow. Choose your font of preference. There's a lot. 94. I recommend 94, so just type that in right there. Click OK, left click this, layer styles, click outer glow, move this all the way to the right, make it this to a 12, click this, click the color all the way to the black, click OK, click OK, click this again, click this right here, I don't know how to pronounce it, re asterize layer, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, click it, click edit, free transform, you can shrink this bigger, or you can even tilt it left, right, upside down, all that good stuff, click out the box, yes, and there you go, and now you can add whatever you want down here, so, Let's go ahead and get whatever you want. So let's say you want a watermelon down there. Watermelon. And you want to make sure you add P and G and everything you type in. Let's say you type in pencil, PNG. Watermelon, PNG. Fortnite, PNG. You get the point. Search it up. Go to image. Click whatever you like on here. You want to make sure it has those black polka dots pattern on the back of the image. Anyways, save the image. Go back to here. Click layer. Open image as layer. Find the image you just saved. I'm going to put it right there. And to finish it off, I love doing this to every single one of my thumbnails. Click layer. Go to flatten image. Click filter. Click and make HDR. And there you go. You can tell the big difference between the color. Click filter once again and click this right here. Vig neat. I don't know how to pronounce it, but just click it. And there you go. Move this all the way to the left. And your thumbnail is now finished. What I recommend to these simple thumbnails like this, they get a lot of views with just simple thumbnails too. Click filter, mimic HDR. As you can see there, it looks a lot more better. All right, so, and then you wanna go to filter again, vague, neat. If you add too much, it will look ugly. But then again, I can add that eye point of view effect. Well, I recommend one to 10. And there you go. Now you have your simple thumbnail for your video and that's how to make almost all my thumbnails all right so you could do this too it's very simple and this website is free and it works for windows and mac but anyways i'm gonna go ahead and just record the outro right there and i hope you enjoyed this beautiful thumbnail making tutorial but i'll see you guys there all right welcome back jay callers if you're at the end of this video that means you actually like this video so you want to go ahead and just leave a like to subscribe all that good stuff and check out my second channel that's the reason why i posted my second channel video on this channel because i really want you guys to check out that channel but anyways check out my twitch i stream there about every day but anyways i'll see you guys next time bye bye bye, bye.